bugger me. I think that means it's time for another cup of tea. about him shortly uh, as I'll be doing the old new pickups later and I'll explain that in a bit. Now the first thing about this video is, uh, <coughs> excuse me I've had a bit of case of man flu recently, but I showed you the master system and I said I'd show you to uh, set up working. So here it is in the uh, in the geek corner that we've created here up in, uh, in our temporary residence. So. Uh, Let's switch her on and uh, get it going. Now, uh, one thing I have done on this thing, nothing beeps, which is a good sign. I have disattached the speaker because it does have a noisy, bit of a noisy speaker. So I'm just going to put that back in. That shouldn't take two seconds. Hear it beeping? That's a bloody good sign. There it is. Right, a bit of a noisy speaker, so I've turned it out by default while I'm programming. But here we are, and there's the monitor working. Uh, disk drive, you can see the disk drive here. Uh, we can have a look at what we've got on the disk drive. Now, I'm not going to do, go into too much detail about the BBC on this video because I'm going to do a full review later, but the commands for the operating system are slightly different on this system. Uh, as you can see, now a nice five and a half inch disc. I've been doing some programming, so there's some programs there. If I look at da, uh, load, uh, oops, good, line cut. <laughs> We can have a look at on the programs there and show it working fully. Uh, there we go. Nice little uh, program. That's actually from the manual, BBC manual, and it draws uh, some interesting patterns. Yeah. So as you can see, the drive's working, the computer's working, the monitor's working. Uh, got the games down there, but obviously I'll show you them as we go. And as you can see, the uh, the CRT is. Uh, being picked up quite well by the cameras, not too much blah, 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 as you usually get on CRT, so that's quite a good sign and be useful for filming at a later date. Now, the printer, let's have a look at the printer. There it is, nicely drawing away its little picture there. Just get my paper. Okie dokie, dot matrix printer, very loud. So, here we go, be impressed. I just press escape so we can uh, get the program to Ah, uh, no. One, edit, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, got interrupted there. Uh, as you might be able to hear, the speaker's quite loud on this, so I detach it when I'm programming. But we've opened the program up in the edit system, which is built in, and let's uh, let's print away. Right. Print to a printer, printer. Continuous or page, but I've paged. And <laughs> it's put it online, don't we really? So, uh, uh. Oh hang on, technical failure. Oh we love on technology, don't we? Oh I forgot what I have to do, hang on, right. That's full feet, yes, thank you. That's full feet. Get the page in, put it online. Very loud, off she goes. There you go. Well, it's all went a bit wrong, but you can get the idea there. And that's on draft, so it's quite light. But if I were to put on letter quality, it'd be a lot dark, so the printer works. Everything works splendidly, perfectly. So, let's get this uh, escape. Uh, let's have a look at the pickups. Now, as you may have seen earlier, 
we did, <coughs> when we were in the old house, get some pickups that we thought would show in the new house, and uh, obviously that didn't happen. And they've been locked away in the boxes, but I've managed to find them. So, this, as you may have met earlier, is the Pac-Man Glock. Quite loud, definitely gets you up in the morning. Fun little thing. Next, we have Wind Up, Pac-Man and Ghost. Yes, I'm stuck in the bottom of a little box for ages. So, yes, there they are. Now, we also have a classic Atari Mog. There's number one. And number two, which is quite cool. I to use these at work ones. <coughs> Do quite a bit of attention. Uh, so there's the Atari mugs. Uh, also, I forgot to say when we were at the show, uh, they gave us some Atari 2600 games. So I'm going to show you them now. First of all, we have Crystal Castles, uh, Gangster Alley, which is a shooting game. I keep, I keep tending to shoot the, the friendly guys because, uh, well. I like to shoot everybody. Uh, Jungle Hunt, which is class. Must have that. Everybody must have that one. Outlaw, which has got to be one of the simplest shooting games there is. Uh, Planet Patrol, which I'm trying to remember. Oh, yes. I shall be doing a video on this one shortly because this is actually really good. Uh, by Spectra Video. So the case <coughs> is a little. <coughs> excuse my man, please. The case is a little bit different as well. And also, last but not least, definitely not least, Yours Revenge. Class. Everybody should have that. Should be low. Brilliant. Got this on the flashback. <coughs> but it's not a patch on uh, this version. So, that's the pickups. And let's make a cup of tea. So, I'll be doing some uh, videos because we've got the 2600 set up now. So, uh, I'll be doing some videos of some of these games here. And I'll be doing some other types of videos that I can do whilst we're here. So I look forward to doing them and I may even do a challenge video for you all. Here we are, sound you look forward to. I've had this a while as well, but there you go. <laughs>